Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Wrap large strawberry pots or barrels with burlap and or bubble wrap and stuff the top opening with straw 6 to 8 inches deep. Move strawberry jars into an unheated garage for winter. Remove winterizing mulch in spring as growth resumes. Consider raking it into rows and around plants to serve as a growing season mulch. Take our lead! Let's help you make your mark! Each runner has a tiny plant at its end and these can be rooted and grown on to produce new plants. Runners take a lot of the plant's energy to produce, so in the first two years of life they should be cut off from where they emerge to concentrate the plant's efforts on fruit production. Make your mark, take our lead! Strawberry plant care so make sure you top it up, at least annually in early spring, and again in early autumn after the plants have been cut back. In late summer or autumn, when the plants have finished fruiting it is a good idea to trim away all of the old foliage. Take our lead! Frost protection of strawberries is less important when the flowers are still in tight clusters and just barely peeking from the crown, at this point they will tolerate temps as low as 22F-6C. Once fruit begins to develop, temperatures below 26F-3C. Make your mark, take our lead! Other popular companion plants for strawberries are horseradish, rhubarb, lettuce, marigolds, onions, chives, sage, and spinach. Strawberries can also serve as a companion plant. Many savvy gardeners plant them as a ground cover to control weeds around horseradish, rhubarb, and asparagus. Take our lead! Let's help you make your mark! You should mulch your strawberry bed image 1, to conserve moisture, to help prevent the spread of disease, to help suppress weeds and to keep berries clean and soil free. You can use black plastic mulch or organic mulch such pine straw or regular straw. Thank you for watching! Please subscribe and hit the bell notification!